December the 26, 2020 it is today. And I'm about to come up with a little bit more revealing, probably the most revealing MK Ultra proofs submitted so far. This, what you see, like stacks like this, these are invitations to the court. I have received probably like over half a meter thick. Yeah, if I would get the whole file, it would be definitely, I would say about more than 50 centimeters more, you know, all kinds of diagnosis about paranoid schizophrenia, mental illness, for which, however, never was any explanation for it. And then the only thing you would get is there will be court invitations. This is another lady, girl, if you want, who was involved in MK Ultra. She got me inside of the psychiatric hospital, Tatiana Prokshu. Here is the judge involved in MK Ultra, judge from Novo Mesto. Here is director of the clinic. From Ljubljana Poli. His name is uh, Bojan Lazar. Oh, Psychiatric Hospital. Ljubljana Poli Director. Nurse. Andrea. Andrea Jeric. And in this video, I just completely review. And I'm not going to even bother with making a phone call to Lidiano or anything like this to speak to the restaurant owner. The restaurant owner. I don't need, because I got too many proofs on hand anyways. No. Like I said, Brian Zahler, look, that's his signature, that's his... Um, He's a coordinator, but he's a number one, he's a director of the of the psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana. And I love this video. I love it. You know why I love this video? Because this is the video, the most powerful video with MK Ultra proofs yet I have produced up to date. The first thing I'm going to demonstrate to you would be a gentleman, thanks to whom this uh, video was created. This is the gentleman right here. And the article states, Slovenian cannot be a leader, does not know how to be a leader. And uh, it says here is a psychologist. Uh, this is a boss of this is the number one this is this is the guy that handles everything oh look at that I like this here look oh the edition 2016 Regatta Saint Bart and we drop down a little bit and he mentions here Great Britain he is a cosmopolitan with a professional education gained in Slovenia and in Great Britain. I want to be really, really technical. He did not gain much in Great Britain. In Great Britain, he wanted to go to Great Britain already. First of all, when Germans, Berlin, London, Americans, and you're talking about a whole crew of neo-Nazi. Hitler's brought me to Slovenia. He was horrified. He did not know how to respond to what their requests were. Their requests were concentrated, directed in creation of the new Adolf Hitler. They were not really, that's not what really this was all about. It was about something else. But their accent 
but why this stuff is taking was so that we could create a new Adolf Hitler. Basically, Americans wanted, along the Germans, on, on behalf of Germany, London wanted, on behalf of Germany, Berlin, Buckingham Palace wanted, so they wanted somebody that would run a new neo-Nazi war against the rest of the world and so they claimed back then that I was the chosen one that's a bullshit they claimed so to me they claimed so to to certain people here in Slovenia so they could tolerate so that I would get going something that I didn't want to go on on the first place by back by then Mr. Zoller concluded for me to be a real threat to the world. The hand was uh, the hands were pushed over my mouth when requesting for the police in public, yelling. Actually, having a police. in front of me asking them for the police assistance already God knows how many times but thanks God Mr. Zoller Mr. Boyan Zara, doctor Professor Doctor took that shit seriously seriously enough to insist and insist and insist and insist from the number one moment from the beginning of the time to get to the Britain he wanted to get to the Britain somehow and get some kind of physical proof, something, so that he could use this for one day so I could state what I'm gonna what I'm about to do now in this very video. He knew from the from the number one day that the whole thing is bullshit. You see, he knew it. Um of course, there were politicians that knew that stuff too. They had other plans. Uh, we're talking about the Eastern European Tsars. But they had other priorities on their mind. He, however, had one priority on his mind. Get out of this case is whatever he possibly could get. And I got into the most severe confrontations and with him and with Muja, Zoran Muja. Zoran Muja was just as a uh, normal person as he was. Zoran Muja opposed to the Nazism from the beginning. I labeled him as a Chetnik. Uh, but these people, both of them, and Boyan Zalar and Muja, did everybody did everybody did they did go down on knees later on because of the size of the politicians that appeared from the eastern europe alone they they started to just go down like this they they just they might have not even liked me maybe my behavior was already totally totally unacceptable for them for their standards for something i don't even uh, in a way that it was it would be it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt in any way it wouldn't hurt me in any way because i never broke any laws i was brought here drugged up completely totally totally defenseless But most definitely, they couldn't do anything. Anything they wanted to do in respect to the questions other than uh, basically just comply and let the whole thing go all the way. So for me to speak today to reveal this, the whole, the whole setup and support one with the MKUltra proofs.
so that this is testimony uh, supported with additional MKUltra proofs. I'm going to use involving legal director of psychiatric clinic in Ljubljana. Like I said, what is this here? This is this is a judge, Stermola here from Novo Minister, who, who would send me invitations to the court. And entire psychiatric stuff in Ljubljana. All the people that visited home, all the people that I have met in Ljubljana, um, everything, everybody, they know me, I know them. I'm going to do the same thing like I did partially with the police from Novo Mesto now with the psychiatric stuff in Ljubljana. Now I'm going to come out, I'm going to point out that we have a very, very advanced knowledge of one another that traces all the way to 1995. And so what happened exactly in 1995? I partially did explain they delayed to Boyan Zahler. 95, 96, 97, and I think finally in 1998, Boyan Zahler eventually broke through to Great Britain and I don't actually even think that was more than six months or one year or something like this and that's actually now written as a special credential under his resume but his goal was accomplished his preliminary goal was to get the proof for me you were able to see that shirt that shirt was updated shirt. That's from 2016. But he had another shirt that was also like this colorful shirt like this. And that he was telling me that you're going to remind yourself and remind yourself and remind yourself of this stuff here. So he did accomplish that proof, which I completely forgot. Once I was squeezed against the wall with a psychiatric... BS, something I had nothing to do with. No mental diseases here whatsoever. I started to hit left and right without any mercy. On this video, I actually realized that even more so that the personality from MK Ultra to real world reality, mine, was so different that it could not be more different. You were able to see me bitch me about. Uh, Andrea Jeric, nurse. Um, on and on and on and on. I have never said a single sorry word to her. For my goodness, well, she was involved, believe it or not, already since sometimes in a 90. 97 I'm gonna say I think in 97 I would say <clears throat> I think as soon as she finished the school and she was they had her like two years on the side she was observing me learning about the stuff then she got in the picture this is how this was with her precisely but in real time I was I was the nastiest person probably the, I, I got with all kinds of stuff uh, it was, of course, unpleasant the stuff that she did. But the fact of the matter is, if this Urbana Psychiatric Hospital, uh, if, you know, something was around that, you know, we, we reject that. We reject these things. It's a horror like this happens. You don't want to happen, and it happens. Uh, the preliminary reaction is to reject. The preliminary re reaction is to demand police. You know, this is the matter for the police. This is this is this is the matter for the police. Preliminary. I shouldn't be even doing this kind of stuff. But since I'm doing, since police did not want to, or perhaps did want me to do what I am doing right now, because I'm doing right now. I'm pointing at the Eastern European politicians. I am pointing at Tsars. And I am pointing at Buckingham Palace, and I am pointing at Washington, D.C., because you, the police, deliberately not do the job. 
And if you did not do the job, there must be only one reason for you have not done your job. That means that you are going to arrest these people at once. Either is why you have not neglected the job, or it's because you're doing a total, total, total cover-up. Now, for either of these two cases are not acceptable to me, to make myself completely, completely, completely clear. When, I, when, when you were there, and I was asking you for help, when I was asking you for police assistance, I told you I was hijacked, abducted, drugged up in front of you, and I did so for no less than 23 years, and you have repeatedly declined to get involved, declined to give assistance, immediate police assistance, having these politicians next to you. In that case, I cannot afford myself to see any other way than what I have stated. And it's also the way I will pursue. Much on disappointment, probably, of mentioned people. These people were afraid of the politicians like you wouldn't believe. This is a little conflict here, right now, I'm doing. But again, at the same time, nobody can possibly say that what I will state on this video would not be true, that this is not factual, that this cannot be considered as ultimate MK Ultra proof. And this is pointing in direction I have already pointed throughout the entire existence of my website, the Alsa Times. It's yet the strongest proof about the whole thing. In this video, I will present you with audio recording of an individual who got involved in MKUltra sometimes in 1995. He too did not waste time. He too helped me along the way by impregnating a lady, I think, from Indonesia. I think she was from Indonesia. She was either from Malaysia or Indonesia, that part, I think. He impregnated her right here in Novo Mesto. What exactly that means? That means that international people were already involved in this stuff, sometimes already in 1995, 1996. She got pregnant probably sometimes either in 96 or 97, he does not confirm this thing. Oh, this is also half Serbian gentleman, very, very much related to psychiatrist Zoran Moja. This is a psychiatrist who handled my case, with whom also I was in Belgrade, and so on and so forth, in many places. He's the man who also dedicated good portion of work to help me out. It was, believe it or not, I learned throughout this video that psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje had a very good understanding about what went on. And foremost, what's the best about this or what this thing is going to develop? As much as about this picture, the only thing I can tell you And I am gonna do it like this. Slovenets nezna biti vodja. The only thing I will tell you is that he posted this in 2016. Slovenets nezna biti vodja. He did refused to have anything to do for me to have anything to do with the Nazism. He was on a very, very right track. He told me that, back then already, that you are not going to be a leader of any kinds of Hitlerianic movement, no matter what, over my dead body you're going to be. I am going to kill you before you're going to become one. That's one thing I can tell you about, about him. Due to the degree of the politicians and everything else, I can also understand his point of view that he was not capable, in fact, 
to summon police. You know, the police was right in front of him. Who are you going to uh, call for help when he alone, he was in the same situation as I was? This regatta, this, this boats, is it? Is it says here? I don't know if it says, but he would go in Britain also before already, not only in 2016. Uh, it was a, like a regatta, you know, like this, yachts. In Britain, they would organize this and he would return back and that's also on his profile so that you're not going to think that I'm making these things up. He also would not, he'd never talk to me officially about this stuff. But throughout the 23 years of time, he and I occasionally, whenever he would be on a picture, did converse. And I just happened to just remember so all this stuff. Okay, Great Britain. So this is already, you can already write this down as a proof, what I told you that he was already the years when he went to study to Britain. What, for how long did he study in the Britain? You can also write down that I also told you that he, that he participated in this kind of stuff, in this regattas, basically. Okay, so that's the kind of stuff you're already going to record for me now as far as the proofs. And I like it. I like this stuff because this is, this is what <laughs> I spent the last four years of my life working on basically was to stop this neo-Nazi plan. So this is yet like the most powerful of the powerful stuff and the psychiatric clinic staff that knows me, hell yeah, and very, very much. The next thing that I am going to do, I am going to go ahead and I am going to concentrate on a location which this very gentleman, Boyan Zadar, director of the psychiatric clinic in Ljubljana, loves to come. In fact, he actually even lives not too far from there. How about this? So now you are going to take a paper and you are going to write down, Boyan Zadar does not live too far from the place I am about to demonstrate to you. Boyan Zahler, director of the psychiatric clinic, psychiatric clinic in Ljubljana, Polje, where I was hospitalized and tortured too, is a quite frequent, if not frequent now, then occasional visitor of the location I will demonstrate you. So just keep writing down this stuff. And so the location I am referring to is this one right here. It's called Kachi Pastir, you see, this here, this. He would come here with his wife, and he would sit here, and it's not that I would not know private details about his life, too. And um, he liked it here a lot. He comes here. Uh, this garden sits here for a drink, for a coffee with his wife. He would go sometimes for a walk with her. There is a nice forest here in behind. And then there is another individual that was completely, completely into this case that I have never, ever mentioned. However, he was a very, very, and he's a very, very important link in this whole entire process. His name is Vinko, but he will have to forgive me that his name I have forgotten. I did not do very well on that. Uh, I did have his name somewhere, but I did so poorly that the name escaped me. Uh, his last name. You see, thanks to him, Thanks to Mr. Vinko. Mr. Vinko is employee of the psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana Poly, and he is working inside of the department for development for uh, for activities. He is he kind of entertains, stimulates. No longer does I think. Uh, I think that 2015 might have been even his last year. Uh, it should already retire earlier, and he will keep coming back. He told me because of you, because of you. So I realized that this psychiatric staff 
in Ljubljana Polje uh, did quite some stuff. The more I went into this stuff, I realized that I will explain some other time why I felt that uh, it was just impossible for me to do something like this. But I just want to tell you, they did some outstanding stuff to help me out. This guy, this Vinko, you see this here, Tivoli, this is like Rožnik, this forest here. With him, I would walk this whole thing back and forth, back and forth, time and again, time and again. He wanted me to memorize this whole forest, and believe me, I did. I could go, and I can tell you the time stamps whenever they did something inside of this forest. And that is very, very scary for someone who would even dare to think about saying that I don't know. He went then further and he did the same thing here for this, where psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana is located. Nurse Andrea Jeric did something else. He would take me to her clients and so I know basically where her clients are located all over the Slovenia. People whom I have probably not even met. Along the years she would pack me in the car and we would drive back and forth. If she had nothing to do, she was always out, watch out for me to help me out as much as possible. And so that I could go and do some stuff, MK Ultra in certain areas, I could just zoom inside and just give you uh, the backgrounds of how villages were built and stuff like that. They each sacrificed and the time went by, these people had invested a vast amount of work to help me out and boy, I was showing less and less and less interest. Uh, in fact, when I drove along Andrea through these villages in Slovenia, I wanted to tell her, girl, it will never be anything about the stuff you want from me. Um, I was actually really hurt. Hurt, I felt hurt for her because she was investing so much energy in this and I was up to no good. Then Vinko one time here in 2006 came. It might have been as well 2005 I would say. They did this renovation here of the garden here that you see here. They they covered the garden. You know, they they made they they I don't know what they did, but they totally totally beautified garden inside. And he said to me, boy, he said, I will kill you. I will really, really kill you if you're not going to be serious, if you're not going to stop to fuck around. Uh, he lost his mind along the way. I almost felt like uh, that he feels like I'm his uh, son or something like that. He was just completely out of his mind. Uh, he was happy and grateful, according to him. He does not have to, but he collected a lot of overtime through this case. Everybody got something little. The truth is they really got nothing, if you ask me. Okay, if you ask me, they, they, they just, they didn't do it for the overtime. They didn't do it for extra pay, they did it because these people wanted to help. They were in it, really in it, to help. They did not waste time, boy. And so he came with a deadly serious face to me. Yeah, he lost it here. And today, thanks to him, thanks to Zalar, thanks to Yerich, I am gonna go and break down this building first. Look, they wanted me to memorize this entire village, which by the way I did, and I'm not gonna bother with it. I'm not gonna bother with this stuff because this is, I got many more proofs and I don't have enough time to play with this stuff. 
but I'm gonna do this one here Andrea Jeric a nurse that would come to visit me wanted me to do this one no matter what and so these are the people I'm gonna dedicate this video to I wasn't even gonna do this but okay but foremost this video is about the gentleman whom I have earlier stated and who gave me more proofs about something else involvement of the Buckingham Palace undisputable because the girl he impregnated ended up in Australia and she did so thanks to the Buckingham Palace you see Slovenia is very very far from Indonesia from Malaysia if you look at it on the map it's very very far Malaysia, Indonesia somewhere here she was from very very far and uh, his financial standings did not permit him to just go and just impregnate um, I understand I teased him I bullshit him I have no idea what I did but it didn't work out his relationship with the girl and alimony was a bad 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 for the guy like this this was very bad so he did not know what to do and so what he did was he came up with a settlement payment one time some kind of payment something like this and buckingham palace ensured that the girl got a place residence whatever job permit new life here in australia something like that and this is the audio recording that actually stimulate me into investigation of his past because I knew him and his colleague too you're gonna hear I have identified both of them from a very very long time ago sometimes 95 like I said and up when I was supposed to be in the United States of America only right here in Miami yep time from 95 to almost over the end of 2006 I should not appear anywhere in Europe mid 2006 anywhere 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 in Europe anywhere in Europe anywhere in the world for that matter yeah not even here in South Africa not not in South America other than in Ecuador where I went to visit my wife twice ex-wife so there you have it by the way I did walk in 2005 no yeah probably through Laredo to Nuevo Laredo in Texas I did because I was doing a truck driving but other than that I never exited United States of America now I was all over the Europe all over the time this here this is in Ljubljana just as you were able to see this is not too far from this restaurant here that you see is just the next door you see right here but the telephone today was busy but the gentleman you're about to hear to talk to me he moved to this house here sometimes in 1997 when Americans British Germans all of a sudden plundered here to this place right into this area they plunged in Ljubljana as you know Melania Knauss girl almost from Nova Mesta from Seunica just like myself the same age is also from Slovenia 
and a mom wanted her son to become a little more serious get the job get the life and got him inside of this place here they got this place here completely renovated and his real star life mama started adulthood uh, basically no more mama son I would say so this your scene here is a house of his parents now let me do this really really fast in 1996 there was an argument here and that's I almost kind of agree with I almost kind of agreed with um, the argument was that this garage is here this this garage is here this should go down according to Trump according to Americans this was like tear it off tear it down tear it down and then there was this building here this 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 thing here that you see also here and we had only this portion of the house you see only this portion of the house without this chapel here of course now if we go to a little bit to the side and then you're gonna see something like this but I will explain to you something you see this here this is basically okay half of what you see here half was added to the lower portion of the building you see the lower portion of the building was something up to here like this here is the original ice cream um, fridge and some stuff just the way that it always was these people the only thing they would do is they would sell here oranges and ice cream when we came here in 96 and what they did was they connected they connected the house this house the lower area the bottom of the house with this here so that now you could enter right from here and you would go inside but foremost this thing served as an extension of the balcony they upgraded this in a such a way that they were able to put the roof over like this and extend the whole thing and create like a balcony the whole thing the garages luckily and I think the owner did a very very good the right thing did not go away because the garages only look garages from the outside but on the inside these are not really the garages on the inside this is the owner did the whole thing in a such a way that it was used whenever it was convenient for parties that would take it was like a larger party they would have a party also inside here they would also host people inside in here if it was like a really really large party no longer only inside what had happened in 1996 when they started to fix this stuff I am not precisely sure but I believe that this white like shiny like this this is only decorated it looks like a, a stuff like this it's like a original I would say probably is even here from the garage and what they did was you see here they added from here on they added I think with the same color like this it was like a bright they make like bright clean look and they would completely finish this whole thing 
so that it would look like the same thing like in this brick I think this is I think what it was and really I am not even sure about what I stated right now when it comes to this garages when it comes to the color of the garages I don't know what portion of what but I think this is what it was I think that this here and that I think this is where why they decided to be like this and they later on dressed with the same style you see also this stuff here but we will get to that stuff we will get to all that stuff so now you get okay let's go a little bit back sometimes in 1996 100% in 97 Andrea alone we took about probably two three rooms two rooms or something like this upstairs here on this side of the house and we would sleep she was not from Ljubljana and we would return from the trips from London we would crash here for the sleep then we would move to our destinations whatever the, that would be she's from another part of Slovenia very far away and like I said, for the two years that she was in the picture, I would not even know that she's in the picture. So if you're making stuff that I'm writing about, just keep writing. Uh, the first thing that happened was they did have some kind of old uh, area inside here, like a uh, like a restaurant the restaurant already existed i think inside already was the restaurant the room like an old room but it, this was very very small so the first thing they did and i remember when i came they expanded this into a rear area and that became like really 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 large so they the two rooms they added like a second room they, they expanded, they enlarged the room inside. So, if you're talking about the first thing that happened with these garages here and this stuff that took place here, um, the second thing that happened was probably 98, something like this, they enlarged inside uh, into two big areas, the, this dining area because this is a restaurant like I said you know um, then the third thing they would do it would be this balconies then the fourth thing they would do one time probably I estimate sometimes in I don't know 2001 maybe something like this they would add what you see here you see this too, like lifted roof areas here. They would do that stuff too. Sometimes in 2001, I estimate. So this came a little later, quite later on a on a page here. Then the next thing they did was, I believe so. This is what it was already earlier or just about in year 2000 I think they added this entrance here like a chapel that make the the front here this that's what I think it was and the last thing they did was no not the last there is much more sometimes in 2000 and well I estimate sometimes in 2000 and Sometimes in 2003, I would say, they fixed the interior here. And this is what they were completely, completely crazy about. They were very, very pleased about the yard, basically. The yard, which, however, I have to tell you, when we are talking about these garages, they were not sure exactly how to pursue this. And I'm going to tell you that at one point in time, and I am damn sure that I am not mistaken about it, unless the owner lied to me and I know he did not because he liked me a lot you had even capacity to go through garages and exit uh, right here on the yard and sit there through the rear of the final of the last garage on this side but this stuff was changed they put 
the windows, they put other stuff sometimes in. Well, I estimate, I think the year was like 2001 final, and nothing later than that. The doors, the real doors were gone, and they changed that, and they put the windows on it. They cemented that. So, to speak, for me to tell you about all this house, if somebody has doubts about something. Now, let me see if I did miss something. To like to demonstrate some photos of this place or basically the only photos you can see or at least the only photos I have seen the internet seems to be not slow really slow okay we're getting somewhere now still not oh, okay there we are. This is what it looks like on the inside. Okay, outside. Okay, so the flooring. You see the flooring and all this stuff? This is what was done. Uh, the fence was also changed. That was also replaced, but the this exterior look, this, this was already uh, replaced before that. You know, just about at the same time, but this was replaced probably about a year earlier or something like that. I don't know. This is when you exit out of here and you see this area around the lake. Uh, you can see they are selling food. No more only ice creams and stuff like that. They started with this little box. Um, like that ice ice cream box and they would sell little drinks this is how they all started in 95 and then they started with interior they got idea from Americans about more oh look at that ice cream aha uh -huh. this is okay 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 this is from the rear this is the last garage that you see here okay this here that you see here one time there was even door here that you could come out right through the garage oh look at that see this will take you all the way to the house inside through these garages this is a very very difficult one to figure out and you would never ever figure out this stuff unless you were on the picture through all them Kyotra time that's why I like it. I like it very much, this stuff. This is outside. What else do we get here? Okay, people sitting. I am not gonna see Mr. Zalar here. Uh, but he did came here. But, um, Mr. Zalar? Ah, Mr. Zalar is quite a gentleman. But... I'm not completely sure um, because of his looks I think that he stayed single for some time you know but it was this lady that in the end that's what I think it was he did not manage to run away from she got him Okay. That's basically, if I would find maybe a picture, the interior, that would be like awesome, but I don't think I'm going to get that. OK. 
Okay, I tell you what. We're gonna do it like this. And voila. This is the stuff I was looking for. This. And this. This here was the new area that was added. And this here was the old, uh, well, old. The first area was this one here. This was the number one, this one. So this is, this is the stuff I was looking for. Okay, that's all I need to say to you about this stuff here. No freaking way would you know that this thing here that you see existed here and that this portion of the house half of the wall that you see here was added to the house so that it would extend no this is not these are not the rooms that are added this to this is like some kind of space inside like some kind of dining room i mean like some kind of um, Maybe dining room you would refer to this in not dining room but like a living room excuse me that you would refer to when it comes to house here but in the back are houses I mean sure rooms yes rooms just as I completely completely explained I it looks like also that balcony on the back that's correct it looks like the balcony uh, in the back is just a bigger balcony and that the rooms are still of the rooms where we would sleep is still the same thing that did not change the neighbor the neighbor who had a house like this remained for me just a boring neighbor but a really good person um, this is ladies and gentlemen the way this was I can go on and I can go from house to house here. We can do that kind of stuff too. This was renovated sometimes in the 97, 96 completely. And of course there was no fence here. And Google Maps would never bring you to a house unless Americans would be on the picture and they would deem that it's got to be on the Google Maps. And this is the one here. Look, we are, <laughs> look where we are with the Google Maps, literally. See? This is the old residence. And this here is basically what was added none of the stuff that you see here this there was no you would just walk here like completely it was completely relaxed you know people had a little bit problem with the fences back then still this lake here yeah why was he gonna kill me Mr. Vinko, because I instigated all the time. Well, there were only two things of interest to me, as you know already, fishing and women. And being serious, deadly serious about this stuff, uh, and having to do with someone like myself that was asking at the same time when you were talking to him about the stuff, if they already harvested carp catfish here probably was not exactly of his uh, best interest he was practically saving me a life and uh, I was interested in knowing if they already did harvested carps and stuff like that going into area of vision like this
you are able to see this location is located in Ljubljana. This is Ljubljana here. That is a Kosovo buyer. And I had a problem because there were so many other locations involved. They involved so many other locations that it literally make very very difficult job for me meeting so many people outside, so many neighbors, so many people uh, to just go and point out what I believed was uh, primarily the case. Primarily I was quite damn certain that his house is located here somewhere is a psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana somewhere here I don't really have a time for this right now but somewhere in this area I gotta see is this like river here or not it is okay good so it would be here somewhere and I was assuming I was pretty damn sure that his house is located here somewhere and believe me again this was also the area where I was all over the place with with Mr. Vinko. He probably no longer works, I think not even Mr. Mujo works there no more. So I really have to hurry up with all this stuff. Going through Dolenska Cesta. This is something you're gonna need as I will present you how I even came to this location. There is a tollway here. And that's basically where we are heading right now. Uh, this is where I understand a bus driver's wet drive, the buses, even 100 kilometers an hour through the toll and uh, they did not uh, really cared much about road regulations whatsoever we like this Just really bad. Are we gonna do it like this? So that I demonstrate to you basically what that looks like. Oh, this here, beautiful. There you go. It looks like this. That's where you have to have like a something that confirms that you did purchase yearly permit to drive on the highway like this. It's like an autobahn. Translated more international language and the gentleman you're about to hear claims and what he's telling is true because he was the one who would take me also from Ljubljana with a bus when he would commute to Renault a local factory here in Novo Mesto he was the one who would take me and we would go 
And yes, they were really this uh, crazy driver. Uh, he was a farmer. He was not. He was just really good the driver. Uh, he also got involved in MK Ultra. Uh, maybe that's why he said because I would have more on this stuff here. He also mentioned some city that I probably would give me a chance to locate him or whatever. But that's what it looks like, and you can see this. You have to go really slowly here to get through. Uh, for the cars, naturally, it's narrower than for the commercial vehicles such as tractor trailer, autobus, autobus, buses. Uh, and he gestures that he would go, this bus driver would just shoot right through. He would not even stop here for inspection or anything uh, for this um, vignette for this for this reader to read whether he paid he's got paid service to commute through this highway or not he would just shoot right through the passage for the cars like a uh, hundred kilometers more an hour with a bus uh, loaded with the workers on it uh, this was just a really hard-working guy, a really f younger guy, nice guy, and really, really fun. He liked me a lot. Uh, maybe he was crazy. Okay, uh, this is basically how, how I got an idea to go and do something like this. Going from Ljubljana, we're gonna zoom to the city of the Novo Mesto. This is right here. I am gonna demonstrate you right now uh, exactly where did I met him. I met him basically right here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I will tell you immediately what is going on he gives some information about none of he confirms nothing but I'm gonna give you a total stuff right here which however already was documented here on the same tape before I finish the tape that's what I do and then he started the what I do is <laughs> anything okay this is just my post comments that I before why this stuff is not true I... the only thing I do is before I shut off the recorder I go over and I do this stuff and this is the stuff I have pointed on the tape he is he is home here in Novo Mesto is basically right here this up here this is where he fixed this is where he fixed his uh, apartment here uh, is uh, a tenant literally of his mom but I think it was a mother that inherited this home from hey I'm not precisely sure but I think it was a father father side something like that but I'm not completely sure about that uh, the mom actually got divorced the two got divorced she got divorced from the husband and it, it, there is a possibility that husband actually when he goes to the previous address In Ljubljana, when he goes to the previous address, that that was from the family. I am not even sure what. Maybe from her mother's side or something like this. Uh, but like I said, the gentleman is half Serbian.
basically did what I did. It's time to go to the audio recording. You can see now that I did much more than just recognized him. Now you can give me a credit for the whole account. Much more than just he was recognized. If you were writing down stuff, you would actually even learn about where about even director of the psychiatric clinic is from. Where in Ljubljana. In vicinity, I was told in about 5-10 minutes away from there, he is. From this restaurant. And let's go to the audio recording. This is amazing. Uh, when I came to the first... Okay, tick, 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 tick. let's go back because we don't have time. So, I met him at the bridge. I did not record, but when I met him, I just went on sneaky and I turned this recorder on as fast as possible. Okay, uh, the gentleman saying, I know him since 95. You moved here? I said, you moved here? Uh, you just moved here? I said, he says, yeah, I am one year here. He did live in Ljubljana. He did, just as I have explained. I have explained everything correctly the way I should have. However, he also paid visits here to Novo Mesto. He is permanently in Novo Mesto already at least, I believe, since 2012. Lives up there, collects the rent. He invited me in his uh, upstairs to him and this and that. He's a very nice guy, uh, along with the other guy. This is a whole, again, a whole set of uh, young people. Uh, I'm hopeful for them to become my friends. That would be very nice. They were involved in MK Ultra. I already presented a certain set of people from Novo Mesto. Uh, and this is yet another guy from Novo Mesto that, uh, with another friend that you have, that you are about to hear him, whom also I have identified, not completely as per location wise. You know, the first impression is terrible, because the first impression you get, if it's a false impression, you you have chances to, like 99% chances that you're going to go wrong. Um, unless you give like a more and more and more time and spend some really freaking a lot of time analyzing it, which, you know. But under no any means, under no means will these guys make your job any easy. Under no means will these guys ever give you any kind of, they'll give you clues like this. And that's basically to see how much your memory is strong, what exactly you can recall. It's good to play stupid. To play stupid in situations like this might actually save your life. Best tip I ever gave anyone. You have a, some kind of an uncle here, aunt, something like that. No, didn't you have here uh, uncle, aunt, something like this here in Novo Mesto? No, 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 I had nothing. Nothing. I only have a dog. That's it. Dog. He had a beautiful sweater on him. <laughs> he almost always had during MK Ultra. It's like a, like a red sweater. You possibly could not go wrong with that sweater. My God, I don't know how old that sweater is, but probably 20 years. But this gentleman, however, since he's claiming he's not from Mesa, he is exactly here from Novo Mesto, I say. Actually, he lives inside of the apartments. Now, since it's going to be the word about apartments in Novo Mesto, uh, I will make no sense if I only point out that he's from apartment. 
you know it's not going to make any sense about it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to present you the apartments i was talking about i was talking about this here i was talking about in slovenian language you say blocky okay and it looks like this 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 is basically what it looks like these are ones these are one and then there is only another location like with this kind of buildings in Novo Mesto and this is this here which is right next to it whoa internet is like a really really not awarded me today slow that is slow then it's just another location I have one other actually this is not even Ay, ay, ay. Caramba. Okay, a little closer. So what I demonstrated you was actually this area here, this buildings here that you see, and then there is just an only one more when it comes to this kind of apartments. And that one, unfortunately for me, it was located here not too far and this is something i failed at geez they would not even give me here the okay these are the same kind of buildings practically they look like completely completely the same buildings and i i, I mixed it up as a matter of fact all this here all this area here so i mixed it up this area this is what he's from with this thing here and he probably says no 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 i am not from here i am see i'm not from here i am from here i am from here so, and he keeps claiming we don't know each other we don't know each other we don't know each other oh yeah we do know each other uh, very very well let me let me demonstrate one more time this is where he's gonna say he's from and this is the only place the only other place in novo mesto with this kind of buildings And I assumed that he is from here. Okay, so this is in a great, 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 great vicinity. But the first time when we met with this guy, he was on his way here. And who is here in this area? Well, this guy is also here in this area. But the thing is that he would keep coming here to this, to these buildings. And so he, whom did he visit it over there or whatever? Confusion. But I remember the buildings, and I damn and assume that those are the buildings and not this, which are basically completely identical, the same buildings, you see. So that's basically is what got me. But I knew that he's from apartment building and that he's from the Novo Mesto, even that the other guy claimed that he's from Ljubljana, which also is true, true, but semi-true. And also know that the gentleman is speaking with a heavy accent, like... He speaks Slovenian, but he has like that characteristic accent that you would know that he's from Serbia or something like this. And I tell him that he is born here in Slovenia, that he was not born in Serbia. I tell you are born in Slovenia. Uh, and as much as this guy, everything denies me uh, and lies, plain lies in the face that he is here only one year in Novo Mesto, this and that. The other guy, uh, I tell him, but you, you are here who also have a heavy accent too. You are here for also from Novo Mesto and you were born here also in Novo Mesto. I make sure that I make myself clear like that. You would almost 100% fail. If you would go in a mental game like this, in respect to accents, in respect to lies here, I have to say that one guy's lying, this guy's lying, uh, you would 100% fail. If you would act according to what they say and you would not know who you are talking to, you would fail. I did not. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, uh, you can hear the accent. Do you hear his accent? You could say that he came here. Uh, or uh, you could say that 
since he is with the other guy, you would not have even idea about who this guy is really like this, if you would not know. He says that he is from Radoska and that he is not, he, and he is really proud about when I say that he is from those apartment building in Sahel. Now, I am from another location. Okay, all right then. You're a the two of you, the two of you are very, very old friends. You're very, very old friends. You're saying you're here one year, you have no family, you have nothing here. You only have a dog, this and that, and you're very, the two of you are very, very old friends. These two guys, they used to work together in this factory Renault also. This is another thing. Yeah, which becomes clear anyways from this stuff. Tell me, tell me honestly, please, what were you doing in the city of the novel, may I ask him? Yeah, yeah, he says, I said, what were you? He says, uh, I was working, I was only working here in Novo Mesto for three years. Um, they would bring us uh, from Ljubljana to work uh, here in uh, Novo Mesto. Uh, I had to face reality, he said, whether I would come to work all the way from Ljubljana to Novo Mesto, uh, a regular labor, and also quite low paid, I would say. Uh, or I would become a uh, homey, homeless. These are, uh, you don't understand, he said, uh, these are uh, drivers that uh, he would be driving the tractor on the field all day long, then he would sit inside of the bus and this would be, he would drive like a cowboy, like I told you, through this. Uh, road toll like a hundred kilometers an hour uh, and not where the buses and where the trucks go through but literally where the personal vehicles go he would load the bus with as many workers people uh, as they would fit inside of the bus he did not care about any safety or anything like this we had this kind of drivers, he said. Oh, 120 kilometers an hour, he flew through the toll, uh, where, through these boots, where they collect uh, toll for the cars, or basically they read your uh, sensors, read whether you have this uh, permit or not on you. He said, uh, crazy people, he said, uh, the only thing, however, I was asking myself, he says, is when was my time uh, to die, basically. Every day. They brought us every day with two buses every day three years three years from Zagreb from Osijek from uh, Karlovac from Croatia the people were coming for work uh, some, they were coming from such a remote towns in Slovenia that they would commute to work two hours and a half with a bus in one direction, one way. Therefore, they would spend about five hours a day just commuting themselves to work. Um, I did worse than this. I would work sometimes 24 hours straight in Miami 
and I would go through the such a traffic in Miami uh, that you have no idea whatsoever. It would take me two or three hours more, basically one way for me to commute myself either to work or get home from work. But yeah, I admit uh, that's pretty brutal too. Five hours, that's brutal. Uh, this bus driver, uh, he really enjoyed very, very sporty uh, driving, but there must be some kind of love between the two because uh, he kept taking chance. Uh, the so I am kind of a shock too because from Ljubljana it was a, such a unemployment situation that you will be commuting from Ljubljana literally to Novo Mesa that's that's actually really hard. I took whatever the first came to me, he said. I'm going to be either homey or I will work. But you have a house in Ljubljana. Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. Wait. I tell him that in Ljubljana you have a house. And he said, no, 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 no. We don't have anything in Ljubljana. I have nothing, I have nothing, I only have dog, dog is mine. Okay, so now you see that I have pointed out for one that lives inside of the apartments, what kind of apartments, and for the other one that he has a house in Ljubljana. Oh, I have actually even pointed with you everything you need to know. I have pointed you the house of my mom uh, in Ljubljana where she was. Uh, I have pointed you um, the house in Ljubljana, the small one, like a garage that they changed into a house where he moved. Uh, and I have pointed you in the novel mess where he collected the rent from the tenants. Uh, where he is residing in the city of the Novomesto. So this I did pretty damn good a job, if I'm not mistaken. No, he, he, he just gives me a total... I am giving him a total background about his mom, everything, and he's giving me a total no. Oh, yes, it was. And the other guy is like, yeah, 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 you make a mistake, boy. Uh, you don't know us. You're mistaken here with someone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. The car is the car. oh, no, no, I did not. I did not. You are the right guys. No way. The way you talk. Uh, it's like you would move to Slovenia or something like this, and this is not true. You were born here. Uh, you don't have a family. You don't have a family. He said, I had family, but you I no longer have. Okay, have a good day, he tells me. I say thank you very much, thank you, thank you, have a good day, bye bye. The name of the dog is Bobby, okay, uh, I was Bobby under MK Ultra a lot of time, when it all started. Uh, the other guy's laughing, and they go, they both go, they're nice guys. Golovets. 
And I'm sure that this is close to the psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana. Isn't there a psychiatric hospital next to uh, where you are located at? Because he's saying Golovitz. And why am I seeing him next to the psychiatric hospital? Because Dr. Muja. Because psychiatrist Muja. Which I'm afraid he's already in Belgrade now. But psychiatrist Muja was with him all the time. The two were almost like inse inseparable. The thing about Muja was, uh, psychiatrist Muja was, he was very cautious with me. He was very cautious when, whenever he had me inside of the car, he was very, very cautious. It was nice, always, but he was always like watching, 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 and he had him with me. He would go out of the car, do some stuff like this, and he would be like, uh, this guy, actually, he, he became so uh, taken over, I think flooded with, with uh, emotions pertaining to me. I did not even realize the impact that one can have. You are defenseless, but your mind can wander into areas that might pull out the people things that otherwise they would not even maybe pay attention to. Maybe this is why this is bad too. Uh, and yeah, it could be that I had something to do with his separation from his uh, ex-girlfriend. I don't know whether she ever became wife. I know they have a child together. Uh, but this guy actually contemplated on even according to him, the way we were alone inside of the car, that he would release me. And the Muja was the one who caught him. Uh, he said, uh, I cannot even leave you next to him anymore. I don't even know if I can trust you because you're going to do something that he's going to escape or something like this. You are just uh, as dangerous as he is. He said, I am going to start to look at you. And so this is just like teasing more. Many times we would Muja, he and I, we would many times uh, commute. They would commute me to Ljubljana or from Ljubljana to Novo Mesto and so on and so forth. Oh. No, I make a mistake. He's not, he's not located over there. I already explained that issue. Yeah, he's on the other side of Ljubljana, he's not near psychiatric hospital, I already demonstrated it. He denies me that he had a house over there in Ljubljana and stuff, the stuff that I'm talking about. He will not admit, he will not say. Where is this to me? Where? Yes, yeah, where? So that this video was He says uh, the mom here is the owner of the house, okay? So he admits now that the mom is the owner of the house and, she, and he says that she is the owner since the last year. Okay, with the house in Novo Mesto, is basically this is like this. I'm gonna be very, very specific about this too. I like being very, very specific. This is like that. I'm gonna explain to you exactly what the deal here is with the house. I already partially did explain, and I did a really good job, but what I want to do is I want to do a little bit better.
there was a renovation of this house that took place. Watch out. And the renovation of the house goes back to year, I believe. The first thing that was changed was actually some remodelation that took place inside of the house. And that one would probably go back, I would say probably to year 2000, because I don't want to say 2001 or 99. Then the second thing that took place was like a real thorough renovation, and that one probably would go. She said the mom, the mom, she, this is actually some kind of a very beautiful mommy. Yeah, I remember that I was crazy about her or something like that. In Oh, that just got to me too. Yeah. Um, that was basically the house, the way you see this house, the way everything was like big ass remodelation. This stuff was probably done sometimes, I estimate. My goodness. I would go to sometimes at about like 2005, 2006 even. 2005, I would say the house would, was remodeled completely with exterior and everything. Okay. So now, was this house eventually on her name already as an owner or not, or this and that? Either technically, I do not know. It's also possible that technically he can say, yes, I am here for one year or whatever. But the stuff that I have indicated, I have demonstrated, it's completely undisputable. You cannot escape to the, to the data, to the information that I gave you. You can see he is very, very cheap with information. Does not give information basically of absolutely any, any, any kind. You have to go and do something like I did eventually to even get the results like this, right? So that's how that's done. This is pretty much the end of this recording. He says, now you understood it a little bit better, right? Yeah, yeah. He says, says, if I properly understand, and I say, I don't believe you even a little bit anyways, to be completely honest. I said this like in a humorous way, and he is laughing. <laughs> he says, uh, you became, um, a tenant from your mom, if I understand. She collects the rent from you. And he says, yeah, he said, this is the kind of time we live in now, yeah. I said, why don't you get yourself some kind of uh, lady and spice up your life a little bit, huh? And make some child and stuff like that. He says, I already have a child, okay? I said, where is your child? He says, he's in Ljubljana or where? He says, he's far, far. And the other guy's like, hey, 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 hey. They're a good team. I like both of them. He says, he says, far? He said, far away. Uh, he says, um, I tell him, you are a secret man. I tell him, you are a secret man. And we go apart. And I don't know what he says. We're going to meet again or whatever here. Goodbye, secret man. And there you go, and we go apart, this and that. So that's all I, there is for this video here. This is yet another, let me see, seven minutes. What I am going to do, I am going to let you this whole audio recording play through. Uh, for those that are in any kind of doubts about stuff I have that pertains to the audio recording. But eventually the main stuff was done. I did the main stuff. The main stuff I did to the last. There is no way you possibly could do a better job than that. For me, here, this video is completed. And, uh, yep. Ladies and gentlemen, here is a date and time when this video was done. 
the recording, like I said, goes to November the 27th, 2020. But I know, I I totally know that uh, I totally understand uh, the coordinator it was Andrea, Andrea, and uh, this is actually General Director Professor Boyan Zoller, my secret friend, who, by the way, resents me now big time, and so do so does everybody in Ljubljana because of the stuff I did. Well, the thing about it is that uh, you can't have everything in this world. You can make a wish, and the wish comes true. But, every why has its why, in this case. He acted correctly, he is a hero in this case, in my view, eventually he is. I'm not going to say that uh, I'm going to make him a hero or anything like this. Uh, I am just look, doing my stuff. I am brutally honest with the stuff. I don't even think that uh, probably a lot of people would go and do something like this, be so brutally honest as I am. But I have really nothing to hide. I, I will tell you the way things are, and this is the way it is. MK Ansha is a blunder. I know that political interest uh, intersects in this video with a staff's requirement. I was told time and again not to mention anything political about it. But this stuff actually concerns the entire world. Look, and this director from this psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polia, he's not so crazy after all, this is quite outstanding dude in this case. And so is everybody else. Um, as far as Dr. Moja, he's a really nice guy too. I think they're all good people, I think these are really nice people. And I wanted to stay this way uh, apart from the politicians. The politicians are politicians and we the people must stay the people. They took their initiative, they took their part uh, in this whole thing. And me, I have lost 26 years of life. I have to do mine. Thanks for watching this video. Till uh, next time. Uh, now what I am going to do, I am going to play the whole audio recording to you again. Uh, just it's a seven minutes so that you know that this is a real deal.
And uh, that was the only thing about the whole thing. Uh, the nurse Yerich. <sighs> I never ever insulted her a single time throughout the entire encounter, a single time. What I did was, I figured out that not only for her, also for Vinko, I figured out that if I act stupid enough, like really, really stupid, uh, she would maybe make some kind of assumption, something that would come maybe to some kind of conclusion that uh, that that was just give in, give up, walk away from me some way, somehow. That that would be maybe the only way, because I did so much bad stuff to other people. It was basically the same thing I have done to her by acting stupid. And I tried to vinko too. I was a little bit afraid of him. Anyways, he was too damn serious. Uh, but these people just didn't give it. They just didn't give in. They just didn't give up on me. So special thank you to all. And believe it or not, even to this guy here, I was in Belgrade with him too. We were in Belgrade right here that's his signature right there okay thanks for watching this video till next time